Hello everybody, my name is Kiribro. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Moon Super Blind Nuzlocke, the game where I haven't played a Pokemon in 12 years and I've jumped back in on hard mode. We're up here at the top of this mountain. It's daytime in game, which means it's nighttime here. I did a little bit of uh, leveling for some of my guys off screen. I brought them up to what I think is a pretty good baseline. The only one that I haven't got yet to 28 or 29 uh, are Bumbreon, because I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with her. Uh, Lippy here, who's 27, and Paper, no, not Paperweight, I've got Paperweight, and uh, Plateface, who I have been working on, but she has like no offensive moves, so it's kind of tough leveling her out in the wild. Anyways, as for today, we're gonna do a little bit of looking on, along this route. I'm gonna try to clear up the trainers here. Probably catch something uh, if I'm able to, and we'll head into the trial if we have time. Okay, uh, also, I feel like, uh, just... Something that uh, okay, I want to try out here okay, now that uh, Shante and Super Paper Mario are both done. Uh, like so, for the past couple of weeks, I've been putting out. Well, since the series started, I've been putting out two Pokemon a week. For the past couple of weeks, uh, I've been putting out four videos a week, plus the stream. So what I'm gonna try instead of doing 30 to 40 minute episodes of this is I'm gonna try recording three. 20 to 30 minute episodes and hopefully it'll work out to be roughly the same but they'll just be in smaller packages and more of them <laughs> so we're gonna do a couple weeks like this and uh you guys let me know your feedback how it feels down in the chat Let's stop wasting time for today though go ahead and fight this stretch and trainer oh she reminds me of emily office worker jessica what you got jess what you gonna toss at me Clefairy! 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 I still know that goddamn Clefairy says song. <laughs> okay, so Clefairy's gonna be normal and fairy type. I don't really have anything specifically for either of those. I think Volt Tackle Electricity doesn't do anything specific to normals or fairies, does it? I don't have fairy marked off, so we can find out. Go ahead with that Catastropeca. There's only one Pokemon. No reason to hold on to this. God, I love how douchey I look. <laughs> All right, Zapper. Get out of here, Pikachu. So why you gotta jump into my arms for this? And that's a dead Clefairy. That, that, that could have been done so much faster. I wish that there was a way to skip those scenes. They're kind of cool, but they don't need to be played every single time. Let me go to level 28. Yes. Wonder if Pokemon can see microwaves transmitted between parabolic antenna. I don't even know what that is. Parabolic antenna. Is she just making that up? It sounds like something that she might be making up. Okay. So this little peninsula little thing. It's not a peninsula. This little section kind of goes down a bit right there and there is a TM down there I'm gonna have to come back and check that out but that's not where I want to catch a Pokemon right off the bat can't go down there what other trainers do we have on this route oh that's a hiker good chance to uh, test my rock versus electric or wait no it's not I don't want you using rock moves on my electric that's bad I want to do that the other way around that's why I have paperweight with me Hiker Thomas, what you got for me? A Bulldore. Oh, it's one of these things again. Okay, this is what the Rog and Rolla turns into, right? I should know it's typing, because I've seen it before. This would be a straight up rock type, and electric is effective against rock. So I shouldn't need to switch. Shouldn't is the prime word, because I don't know how rock does against a, like, a, how, how rock versus electric is and it's and it's scary so I'm gonna go ahead and just swap over to mm, pubert pubert needs the level of those that have super effective against rock pubert is the one that needs the level why did you use is smackdown a ground move Smackdown's a rock move. Okay, um... 
go ahead and magnitude it. No reason to draw it out, ever. And that's a dead Boldor. Attaboy, Pubert. Make him pop a proud. 853, Lippy gained 853. And about to send in, aw, oh, nice and classic Geodude. I haven't seen one of these in forever. There it is. That's not, that's not right. Why is his head all prickly? Why does Geodude also have hair? That's supposed to be my thing. Damn you. Okay, I know you rock. Nothing should be changed. Magnitude will still work, but you might have levitate. Nope. Oh, you son of a ding nabble. Oh, it's sturdy. That would be why. So SmackDown, Smack... For some reason I'm thinking that's a fighting move, but that wouldn't be because then it would come out as effective against me. Fighting does well against steel. Interesting. I know that steel does well against rock, but it's an Alolan Geodude. Something must be different about it. It can't be just rock ground. Rock electric? Are you kidding me? Since when was rock electric a thing? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so then steel effective against the rock, but must not be effective against electric. Marking that down, I guess. All right, good to know. I want one. If I could catch one on this mountain, I'd be pretty happy. I like electric types. Oh, we got some more grass patches coming up. Nice. With more Pokeballs. But I want to make sure I get the farthest patch. What's this bus here? Oh, I can't get past. Executor Express. Want to ride down to the stop of the base? So this is just uh, to get to shortcut me down to the very bottom, I guess. A oh, Magimar. I forgot to read what he said. Retake the photo for your trainer passport. It'll be updated whenever you change your clothes or hairstyle. I still love the trainer passport that I got with his half closed eyes. You can't see them behind the shades anymore, unfortunately, but ooh, you know what? I'm actually gonna go for this one over here. I saw another grass patch that I wanted to grab instead. Ooh, ooh, no. I got it. Pokedex. Show me that Geo, dude. Habitat. Can it be found on the- Ah, damn it! It's found on a different island. Ooh! So I can get one here, just not on this route. I'll find them down there. I'm gonna have to try to keep that in mind. Okay. I was gonna hope that uh, I could find one on this route, and then I'd be able to figure out which patch to go to. Uh, where are my repels? Sure hope that Lippy's high enough level to uh, dodge anything here. D Ooh! Okay, I wasn't expecting the trainer battle. I'm battling a collector to be able to gather information on rare Pokemon. I guess that's true, isn't it? All right, what you got for me, Todd? Pissimian. Well, that's some kind of monkey. Is it grass? It looks like it's grass because of the leaf and coconut stuff. <laughs> and I think electric's not very effective against grass. So I'm just gonna work on total assumptions here. Shit, I don't have anything to deal with grass. In fact, three of my guys are specifically weak against it. But, and Pikachu is ineffective and Psynod is ineffective. I have nothing for, I wasn't expecting a grass type up here. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to grab some summaries here. Sinon has a bug move and that's super effective against grass. At least, I, I know, I learned that. Paperweight does not have much for special defense. Ooh, but grass is almost all physical, isn't it? So he would be able to survive a hit if he has a grass move. 
And Donkey has just got grounded fighting. So I should be able to rely on Paperwork and Donkey. At least to figure out what this thing is. Go ahead and switch. Scary face. I think this is lower speed, right? Yeah, I don't need to worry about this. I really want a TM for Gyro Ball. Like the move that my uh, Staryu Stanata had. Because I got so many slow beefy guys. Gyro Ball would be awesome for them. Um, faint attack is the one that never misses. Slam. Just a lot of damage. Rock Tomb. There we go. Takedown. So it's using normal moves so far. It appears to have a fair amount of defense of its own. Rock. Not very effective. Okay, try the faint. Beat up. Oh, good. Beat up sounds like a move that might be fighting. Ooh, but it, it was just effective. So it can't have been a normal move. Are you serious? Dark is also... Okay, what have I got that uh, both Rock and Dark are ineffective against? I don't have anything marked as Rock being ineffective yet. <clears throat> so what about Dark? Not good against fighting. Is this thing a fighting type? It's also not good against dark or fa Is this thing dark? It's got a lot of black on it. It might be dark grass. And then the rock would be ineffective against the grass? Maybe? Try the normal move. See what happens. So whatever happens, it, it seems like he's not able to really hurt me a whole hell of a lot. Okay, normal was fine. Which means that it cannot be rock or steel. Slam is working. I think this is a grass dark type, if I had to guess. Come on, Slam, don't miss. Way to be, paperweight. You knocked that Pisimian down. 1157, look at all that EXP. Oh, it's so good. That defense, yes. 81, he's so, so tough. Block, what's this? Blocks the target's way with arms wide to prevent escape. Interesting. I don't really want it, but okay. And Lippy grew to level 29. I'm, I'm gonna try to evolve Lippy once I get her to 32, 35 range, I just want to see if there's any other electric moves uh, in, in the lower realm before I move on. Because I don't think Raichu learns anything more. Nuzzle. Electrified cheeks against the target. This also leaves the target with paralysis. So this is a physical, like, a guaranteed status effect. But it's better than... Than... Thunder Wave, because Wave did no damage. That that could be good. Spark May leaves the target paralysis. Volt Tackle May leaves a Lippy just has a whole lot of ways to paralyze fools. Charm, harshly there was attack. She ain't got much for defense, but I, I knew that was what Lippy was gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Charm. I'm gonna try to let Lippy be a dodge tank. Tank, I use the word loosely, but you guys know what I'm saying. Orangaroo, this one. People were telling me about this one. I think it's dark fighting. I can't see anything about move types here. So dark fighting, if I was to... Working off of that assumption. Fighting moves won't work. Dark, fine. Donkey should be good, though, because Donkey's just ground. Nothing he has should be super effective against me. But all of his moves should also be physical. Or maybe it was part psychic.
Uh, try the fighting. This will tell me if it's dark. Okay, just regular effectiveness. So it's either not dark or it's also something that is, uh, 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 uh puts off the dark. Stored, what? I've never seen that move before. Well, you're already faster than it, so go ahead with the high horsepower. Just hit it hard. Oh, that's what I'm after. This might be psychic. Huh. I, I can't... I've got nothing on it. Sure hope this works. Ooh, not quite. It's okay. It should die. I've got this under control. High horsepower. That's a down to Rangaroo. 1114. God, that is powerful. Give me the treasured info. Give me all of the info that you've collected in your giant nerdly brain. Craning my neck waiting to see if Meteorite Pokemon will fall. Yeah, just like Turtonator. Huh. Turtonator, that's gotta be a tortoise of some kind, right? Okay. okay. We're here at the secret middle grass patch. I can't get at it from the bottom and I can only get at it from the top by walking through grass. Okay, so we're up on a mountain. I'm gonna hope for another rock type maybe. We have two of those. I just hope it's not another ground, because we just got rid of that. Oh, 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 item. Max potion, alrighty, nice. So I gotta let the repel wear off first. There we go. Okay, what's we gonna get? What's we gonna get? What lies for us up on the mountaintop? We got a... Huh? Huh? What? The seven blazing hellfires of Thor is that thing? It looks like it might be another rock steel, maybe? Looks like a meteorite, like something alien. Makes me super nervous, but paralyzing is a good way to catch things. So I'm gonna have to try this and see if it takes and hope that it doesn't fucking kill me. Let me use Nuzzle. So whatever it is, it's not electric. Super effective. Electric is super effective. It could be steel. Stealth rock. Ooh. Pointed stones float in the air around your team. That's like toxic. I mean, not toxic. That's like the venom spikes, right? Anybody I toss out now will take damage. It might be another steel rock, like Plate Face. Makes me real nervous to try to hit it with anything. Maybe I'll just nuzzle again. Because that's wearing it down a little bit. Ancient power. That's a rock move, right? I think it's a rock move. Okay, I'm gonna try. I think I have a quick ball in here. I got a few. So we're only two turns in and it's paralyzed. Here's hoping this works. Alrighty, cool. We got a whatever the hell that thing is. Um, I'm, I'm just confused. Mini or what? That's not what it was. Is this like, is this thing like cast form? Is this another one of the ones that like changes its shape based on maybe its environment? So it doesn't evolve. What the? Meteor Pokemon, blue core, it's a rock flying. 
So that's what the super effective was. It was against flying. That also means, though, that electric is... Yeah, okay, I've already got it marked as good against rock. I'm filling in my type chart, guys. It makes me excited. <laughs> if its core stays exposed, it will soon die off. It's possible that it may survive if it's put into a Pokeball quick enough. It certainly sounds nice and alien. This looks like the type of thing that might be super rare. So, Meteorite Pokemon, it's Rock Flying. Hmm. One well, quick little shout out to the Grumps with this one. Zognoid. We've got our first confirmed case of a Zognoid in the Pokemon world. Let's check his summary. What's he got? What's it got? Because it does not have a gender. Likes to thrash about. Uh, so we're taking out of special attack and putting into attack. Y another physical brawler who's very high on speed. I have to wonder what was up with that. Like, why it showed up as what looked like a rock, though. Shields down. What's this ability about? When its HP becomes half or less, the Pokemon shell breaks and it becomes aggressive. What? Was was that what it was? We never took it past half health. Was it just like it had its defenses up? Ooh, I am really intrigued by this thing. I'm really glad I caught it. Alrighty, well that's kind of cool. I don't think we can use it right now because we're going up against an electric trial next. But I'll send Zognoi to the box and we'll we'll break that thing out a little bit later. Cool. Ah, gotta fight something else. On my way back to the top of the mount. Another one. It is. It must be that that's its outer shell. Although this is two in a row, so maybe it's less rare than I thought. Anyways, we know what works on it now, so don't give it the chance to hit you. Just make it dead fast. Ooh, but there was this TM on the way back up. We gotta grab that. Okay, what do we got? Volt switch. Huh. Volt... That sounds like... an electric move. Volt switch. It is electric. Making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places with a party Pokemon in waiting. Ooh! But I wouldn't be able to pick that, would I? <laughs> it seems cool. I might have to plug that onto somebody else, though. Because if that behaves the way that I'm thinking slash hoping it does, that might be good on somebody pretty weak or with lower defenses. Maybe on Lippy would be good so that, you know, if they take the hit and they're like weakened, they can use Volt Switch as a quick way to basically hit and run. Okay. Anyways, that is everything down on that route. Oh, I gotta, I gotta grab that Pokeball. How do I get in there? Level Ball. I will read what these do later. What are you doing up here, Oak? You know, there's this Pokemon called Meteor. It comes down from space like a shooting star. And the cores of these Meteors seem to shine in a number of different colors. They don't seem to be regional variants, but it's an inter interesting phenomenon nonetheless. Here, I've been wanting to give you this. A Moon Ball. Jeez, what's with all these new Pokeballs? Why are there so many of them? I hope you'll try to complete your Pokedex for Rotom's sake as well. Is he just gonna be like, is this gonna be a game of where's Waldo? God damn it, Oak. All right, let's check in here, see what we can get. Hey there. Ah, this guy looks nervous. Still fired up as ever, eh, Royal? Ah, cool beans, let me introduce you. This is Mulane. He runs the observatory here and also manages the PC boxes, but he's not Hokalani's captain. No, but I was the captain once, my masked friend. It's Koo Beans, right? Thanks for coming all the way up Hokalani to visit us. But our captain Sophocles is a busy young man, always calculating comets paths or working on that festival plaza thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. I'll gladly show you the skills of a trainer who toughened up while adventuring alongside Kakui back in the day. Oh boy. So we're just jumping straight into it, eh? 
Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Malane. You've got a Skarmory! Suddenly very glad that I did not swap out Lippy. All right, well, we're actually at uh, 32 minutes for this recording. So this seems like a pretty good place to next time on show, just to test out these uh, smaller episodes here. Gonna leave you guys off on a mid-battle cliffhanger for the first time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please do remember to hit that like button down below. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. The numbers are still climbing. Pokemon is still being so kind to me and I still love that you guys are so engaged with this. Thank you guys for the tips and thank you for being respectful of spoilers. Hello to all you new folks as well. Catch you guys on the next episode and we're gonna fight Malane. Later peeps.